Everything's a little topsy-turvy here at the moment. But we're going to do some drawing anyway. We're going to do some drawing. But upside down. G'day, I'm Hockey, the ad hoc artist. And on this channel, I like to do different art challenges. On today's show, I'm going to draw upside down. But not me upside down, I'm going to draw the pictures upside down. I'm going to do this in three stages. I'm going to start off a little easier and end off with the hardest of all. I'm going to draw pictures of real life characters from the different Spider-Man movies. Because they're upside down, kissing, anyway, doesn't matter. So first we're going to start off on the easy level, we're going to draw Tobey Maguire, but I'm actually going to flip this picture upside down and just try to do my best to copy it. So let's uh, head over to the drawing table and give this one a go. So I have my picture of Tobey Maguire who played Spider-Man in the original movies of this century. And I flipped it upside down and I'm just going to try and copy this as best I can. I try to use the same methods that I've learnt to drawing a head and applying that just upside down. If you have done any courses or any study of drawing, there has been some teachers that will mention flipping images upside down to help disassociate yourself with the image. For instance, a face, drawing a face upside down or an eye, because you are used to seeing it the right way up, when you flip it upside down, it makes it easier to just observe the image and copy it for what it is rather than what your brain will think it is. Let's hope that I've done well. So let's flip this back around and see how close it is to Toby. And it doesn't look anything like Toby Maguire. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so it didn't come out too badly. It really didn't look like Toby Maguire, but that's okay. We'll move on to the next challenge. I'm going to draw it upside down, but this time I'm going to draw Emma Stone, who played Gwen Stacy in The Amazing Spider-Man. But I'm going to leave that picture the right way up. This is going to be very tricky. So let's uh, go see how I go. So this one is a lot trickier. The portrait stays upright and I'm drawing the face upside down. So with this one, I'm gonna try and flip everything in my brain to get it to work. So what is up is down, what is left is right, and that's not easy. Trying to associate the different elements, flipping them and then drawing them, this is quite hard. It's a heck of a challenge, I must say that. The interesting thing about this is that you go, oh, I think I'm doing okay. And because this one is, you know, the little bit harder, yeah, yeah, like, it's coming out all right, I think. I'm sure it'll be fine once I flip it over. to spend a little bit more time on this one too, inking it and just making it a bit more presentable. It definitely was a challenge for my brain <laughs> to try and flip everything around. Speaking of flipping, let's flip the image and see how close we got to the final picture. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> that was a bit rough. Holy smokes. I could not get that to work really well. She looked a bit wonky. Sorry, Emma. Well, for the last challenge, again, I'm gonna draw a portrait of someone upside down, but this time I only get a few minutes to look at the image the right way up first before I start drawing it. <sighs> okay, let's try. So I've got my picture of Tom Holland from the Marvel movies as Spider-Man and I've only had a few moments to look at that picture. Trying to commit all the little pieces to memory, the eyes, the nose, the ears, the hair, the angle of the face. Now that in itself can be quite a tricky thing to draw, just the right way up, but then drawing it upside down and all the things I've committed to memory have to be flipped as well. Let's just say that I forgot nearly everything that I tried to remember. You know what? It seems like it's going okay. I'm not overly confident after the last picture of drawing things upside down with an upright image. But hey, lightning can't strike twice in the same place, can it? Let's flip this over and see how close I got it to the image. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. Oh my goodness. Not only was that quite difficult to draw upside down, it was horrendous. I am sorry, Tom Holland. I know it didn't look anything like you, but that was a really hard challenge. Here are all three pictures that I drew with them upside down, the, now the right way up. And yeah, I'm... I'm sorry. However, if you enjoyed seeing me draw these pictures upside down, go down under into the comment section and leave me a little message on how I did. And while you're down there, if you have any ideas for me, you can go pop them in there too. If you enjoyed this, please swing over to the like button and give that a press. And if you are not subscribed, I hope that you do so you can come and join us again for the next episode. It has been awesome having you with me today. You have a wonderful day and I will catch you later. Ah! <laughs>